Yes, welcome to Kenya USA Times TV. It's another day. I know we are still thinking about diversity visa lottery DD 2025 results, which came out May, May 4th, last Saturday. Some people won, some people were not selected. And if you are selected today, I'm going to take you through so that you may understand, uh, you may understand diversity visa case numbers. It's very important for you to understand this. First and foremost, diversity visa lottery application normally happens every October and it runs till November. And the results uh, comes out next year, May. As for DD2025, the application happened uh, last year, last year, 2023, October. And then the results came out this year, last Saturday, May 4th. And some people are lucky to be selected. Some were not. Yes, some were not. And if you are lucky to be selected, it is very important for you to know your case number. It's an alphanumeric number, which will determine the date of your interview scheduling. So interview scheduling are ranked or are scheduled numerically. Yes, they are scheduled numerically. That means that if you have a lower case number and your DS-260 has been submitted and processed way early, then you are likely to get a, an earlier date for the interview. That's a fact. The lower case number has a high chance of getting interviews and visas. That doesn't mean that if you have a lower case number and you delay submitting your DS 260, you are safe. No, you are not. I've seen some people losing out their this uh, their golden chance of coming to the US um, with a lower case number by submitting their DS 260 very late. I know one of the reasons could be that you you have no passport, or maybe you have no hosts. Yes, especially the host address. By the way, if you want to submit the DS-260, let's do this. When you win, you are required to submit DS-260 form. This is a visa application form as early as possible, as soon as possible. The earlier, the better. So what do you need to submit the DS-260? Um, you need a passport. And then you need also... Um, the host address and this host address doesn't mean that you will be hosted by that person no you can ask somebody to give you his address though you may not go there as uh, just for the submission of the ds260 very important that's what i did during my time dv2023 i had a lower case number and i had to ask somebody to give me his address Though I knew that that person will not host you, or host me, sorry for that. I knew that that person will not host me. And I submitted my DS-260 way early, May 14th. Though I ended up unlocking it for some other reasons and resubmitting it again uh, May that first. But that did not affect uh, the processing of my DS-260. And I got the earlier date for the interviews. October of the, of the 2022. So if you have a lower case number and you submit your DS-260 very late, you are missing out. Remember, if you delay in submitting your DS-260, your case will be put into, will be put back of the queue. You will be put back of the queue. For example, if your case number is maybe 20 and you submitted your DS-260 late, as late as maybe September-ish or January of the next year, maybe, for example. And then there is somebody uh, with a case number, maybe 100, and that person submit is DS-260, is or are DS-260 way early, as early as maybe the same May or the same, 
a few days after the the results that person will come ahead of you in terms of interviews so be careful having a lowercase number doesn't guarantee you a visa you have to be careful in submitting your ds260 you have to do it early enough alternatively if you have a high case number yes a high case number can be a case number of maybe 55 50, 55 or even sometimes 45 let's say 55 for this case and maybe 60. you need also to submit your ds260 very early so that you may up up your your chances and especially if you are in Gulf countries don't transfer your interviews to Nairobi. Do it there. You have a high chance of getting visa. I've seen many people with the high case numbers getting interviews in those countries, uh, Gulf countries, Qatar, and even some people, Tisset, Tanzania. People are getting visas. So don't give up if you have a high case number. As long as you play your cards very well, early submission of DS260. While filling the DS260 for these people with high case number numbers, you can just say, okay, choose your local embassy if it's Nairobi embassy. And then by January, when SIAP data for, for example, our DV2025 is out, you can now analyze and see the performance of the local consulate or embassy. And then the embassy you want to, to transfer to. You can analyze. And then you can request um, KCC to transfer your, your interviews to that embassy. Or you can just stay in your local embassy if it's performing very well. And sometimes um, if your case has been proce uh, processed and has been, okay, has been processed, it's good it's good just write to kcc so that they may transfer your interviews to to the embassy you want as long as you are sure that the embassy you are going to uh, is doing well and you have also uh, you have no entry restriction for that country maybe visa there is no problem with visa or work permits, they will not ask you, why are you here? Some countries do not ask. Like, for example, TZ, they will not ask you, okay, why are you doing this? Because we are in East Africa. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Tanzania is in the part of East Africa. So if you are from Kenya, you can choose to do your interviews in TZ. If your case number is I, but not too fast. Start fast with your local embassy if it's Nairobi, and then by January, decide. If your local embassy is not performing, then you can request the transfer. Write an email to KCC, and then they will do the rest. That's how to maneuver. People are getting visas, even though they have high case numbers. That's it. Chanjaruka. So how do you now analyze uh, case numbers or the performance of the embassies based on the case numbers. Uh, today, I'm going to share with you the website which is valuable in tracking your case number. So let's go, guys. Yes, thank you so much. So as you can see, it's dvcharts.satis. I don't know if it's satis. And then dot .xyc siak. And then you choose the year you want. For this case, I want us to see DV2024 so that we may know um, how the case numbers were and when the visas were issued and so forth. So that you may know um, our lower case number is scheduled and our a high case number is scheduled also. And we are choosing DV2024 because 
we are yet to get uh, the data for DV2025. The data for DV2025 will come out uh, next year. Um, next year what? Next year, January. Yes. Let me transfer this here. Yes, it will be out next year, January. So let's use this. For example, you just type here, Nairobi, you go here, DV24 raw data, CF data, and then you type Nairobi, and then it will filter anything from Nairobi. I know I'm passed because I come from Kenya, so I'm likely to search Nairobi. <laughs> you can search your local embassy if it's uh, Dar es Salaam, if it's um, what again, Ghana, Accra, Ghana, Accra, whatever, Turkey, Istanbul, whatever, your local consulate. For Nairobi, DV 2024, the, I, the lowest case number, sorry for that, the lowest case number was case number nine. The lowest case number for this uh, DV2024 was case nine. And was it issued? Let me see. Yes, the status issued. When was it issued? Okay, first of all, this person submitted the application in Hey, it was the tail end of uh, November. No, no, not the tail end. The tail end of the diversity visa application of DV2024. It was November 3rd. Ooh, very risky. And this person got nine, case number of nine. And then the visa was issued on October 23, 2023. Very interesting. How many visas were issued? Two. Maybe this person was married. So as you can see, this the lower case number got the earliest opportunity to be interviewed. October. Remember, for DB2024, interviews for this group started in October 2023. October there, I don't know the date, but maybe mid-October there, because financial year for the US government normally ends September 30th, and then it starts October 1st. So DF, DV2024 financial year started October 1st, 2023. The interviews, of course, maybe it was scheduled for, the, for example, this guy or a person, October 23, 2023. You see, law case number. The earlier you submit the DS260, the better. Okay, let's see this one. The next law case number for Nairobi, AF52. And remember, between these letters, AF and the 52, there are always uh, leading zeros it can be four it can be three depending on the your number so this one zeros have been omitted let's see 52 issued when did this person apply for dv 2024 yeah he apply 18 october 2022 not bad because maybe uh, DV2024 was sub in application maybe started maybe on six. I, I don't remember, but maybe six, maybe seven. I don't remember. You can confirm. But this person applied on 18, just two weeks later, which is not bad. Early application is good. And he got a case number of 52. Was the visa, visa, visa issued? Yes, this person got visa, and he seems to have uh, to have been issued three visas. Obviously, maybe he had a, a family. 
himself and the wife and maybe a kid. Three visas. When was it issued? October. Yes, I'm very happy about this. October 4th. Just compare the two numbers. AF52, just a lowercase number, and also AF9, just also a lowercase number. As you can see, it's likely that AF52 submitted is DS260 way earlier than this AF9. Why? Because the, uh, it was scheduled, he or she was scheduled for earlier date of interview. October 4th, and yet he, he or she had a case number of 52. While a case number of nine may be submitted is or are DS260 late than this person was scheduled on 23rd October. Not bad. Let's see another. The next, the third lowest case number was F117. Nairobi, was it issued? Yes. And as for the application, he applied for DV 2024 on 22nd October. Not bad. And then when was he or he or she scheduled for the interview? October 5th. It's so interesting. As you can see, AF 117. First of all, AF9 is a lower case number than AF117. But because AF117 submitted his or her DS260 way earlier, he, was, he or she was scheduled an earlier date for the interviews. So you have to learn something here. Which date? October 5th. While AF9 uh, is October 23rd. So it matters the time you submit your DS260. I hope you can understand this. These are just facts you can see for yourself. The earlier you submit your DS260, the better for you. Even with the lower case numbers, those who submitted way earlier, those who slept and submitted late were overtaken by others. You see? I don't know if we can learn something. Okay, it was followed by a AF-151. Was it issued? Yes, issued. And this one was for, seems to have been a single person. It was given on November 3rd. Not bad. And then followed by AF-161, Nairobi. And it's very interesting because this case number was reviewed. I don't know if this person was placed uh, under this reviewed 221G or not. Okay, normally this site um, for reviews, so it doesn't mean that person has been reviewed the visa. Maybe that person has been placed in what we call administrative processing, AP, which is 221G because maybe that person never supplied enough documentary evidence to support his claim, his or her claim for the visa. It's possible. So you will not find it here that somebody has been placed on AB, no. So it can be either way. This person was reviewed. And I, I think, let's see this. I think, it's either way, he, may have, he or she may have been reviewed visa or placed under 221G, which is not bad. 221G, you are given a yellow paper. You still have a chance to, to submit the documents you are required of, and then you will be given visa. However, if you have a high case number and maybe the, the financial year, is about to end you may lose out so watch out make sure when you go to the interview you have all the documents required from the basic documents like birth certificate passport marriage certificate if you are married 
and then um, I want that for a bit, a bit of support from the host. Very important, and it's a must. And then 1040, that's transcript. You are host um, or sponsor DL or green card or passport. Yeah. Mm, what else again? Sorry for this person. Uh, let's see. I want us to see a higher case number, maybe. I don't know if it can. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, yo. Let, let me go back. This one, I, I'm not yet ready. 49, maybe. Okay. For this one, 49. I guess about 49. The visa is ready. So this person is lucky. Not yet issued, but um, the visa is ready. And it's likely that this person has been sent uh, to an L. I want us to see. Mm -hmm. So this one. Mm -hmm. 49, 48, ready, ready, ready. Mm -hmm. 49, let's see this. This how to study the your case number so that you may know where you are likely to be scheduled for the interviews. Uh -huh. I want to see the latest. Yes, be patient. Uh -huh. Ready, all these are ready. Ready means that the DS26 has been processed, ready for the for the QNL or for the interviews. Mm. Let's see. Yes, I'm very lucky today. Okay, for this one, it seems the other one. Let's see this case number F39 to 38, Nairobi. This person has been placed. It's now clear. This, this one has been placed on every administrative process. I think the other one uh, had been reviews. It was under review, so, so doomed. Mm. Even this one, 39, 39, 37, 7. AP. I want you to note this 39, it seems had already been scheduled for the interviews. This person went to the interview and then as per this date, 2024, May 3rd, this case number was under AP. You see? Let's go to another number. Mm. I want to see a high case number issued. Mm. Yes. Check this. Case number 35351 issued. How many visas? Three. This person had family. Three. When was it? April 4th. 35351. While 35332 is ready yes ready to be scheduled for the interview but not yet issued so 
it seems this person submitted his, his or her DS-260 earlier than this other one, this one. So the higher you submit your DS-260, the better for you. Let's see another one. Even this one, that 5312 issued. Mm -hmm. 34 6 you see 34 6 12 it's ready okay it has been processed it's ready for interview however there is this one 34 6 12 there is this one 34 a 26 which is a high case number than 34 6 12 but has been issued visa What's the reason? What could be the reason? Earlier submission of the DS-260. That is a better explanation of this. So guys, as you can see, this shows that if you play your cards very well, if you have a high case number, you submit your DS-260, early enough, you have a chance. You have a chance. And also, if you have a lower case number, and you don't submit your DS-260 early enough, or maybe you are missing some documents, you may be refused a visa. That's a fact. Let's see for 2023, so that we may now see the highest or the lowest case numbers, NR. Yes, this is my year. 2023, DB 2023, the lowest case number for Nairobi was three. And it was issued. It was a single person. I know this person. <laughs> I know this person. Yeah, I know this person from Eldoret. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to say the name. While this one, AF31, refused. Oh, it's unfortunate. This one now is not. Okay. Reviews under 221G. 221G is the same as AP, Administrative Processing. You see? And then, oh, this were, let's see. Issued on 18. Okay. Yeah, I remember this person, F3, issued on 18. And then, there is something I want to show you here. Um, I want to show you my case number. It's somewhere here. I don't know if it is. Even this person I know, F340, I know this person. Yeah. Mm hmm. As you can see, this one, AF55, refused because of one or two reasons. Maybe this person missed maybe to provide enough documentary evidence, enough documents to support his claim for the for the visa and so forth. Mm -hmm. So be careful. Having a lower case number and you have other issues does not guarantee you visa. You have to be careful. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm almost towards my case number. This is my case number. AF312. How many things has issued? Four. Obviously, okay, this one is misleading. My interviews were on October 20th, but the system updated it to uh, uh, December 1st. It's okay, maybe the way they are updating their, um, their system, but my interview uh, my interview was on October uh, 20th. 
which is okay, I don't complain, but the system updated it on maybe December 1st. How many visas? Four visa. This is my case number. And when did I apply? The first day, October 6th. <laughs> yes, October 6th. Yes. Very important. Very important. Yes, for our case, there were not much reviews. I want us to see the high case numbers. Um, let's see. I don't know if it's loading. Yes, thank you so much. As you can see, somebody with a um, 57 something, Nairobi, ready. This person never bought the visa because this DV2023 is over. And then there is another person here. Mm. I want to see a high case number that was issued visa, I think. Mm, ready, ready, ready. Nothing also. Come on, what will you protest? Ready. This one, 32, 132. Whoa. I think during our time, uh, they never reached a high case number within Nairobi. A high case number, as you can see, for this one that was issued visa is 31, 32, 132. However, for those people who are, who are in Qatar, Gulf countries, they, with a 50, case number of 50,000, 61, those people got visas. Um, yes, this is it about this one. Let's see, is it door? Yes, door Qatar. As you can see, even within door, the consulate of door Qatar, which is in Gulf country, which is a Gulf country, you can see AF183, people from Africa doing their interviews in Qatar. So don't give up. CAF 183, AF whatever. Let's see the highest case number for this one. You see? Issued, issued. Issued. This one is, is it? Oh, yeah. Where's the highest? Mm. Mm, let's see the next one. 68. This is door. Uh, mm -hmm. 16. Many Africans are in those countries. Uh -huh. Even 21 issued. Uh -huh. 26 issued. I like these countries. 18, 19. Okay. No, no, I'm still looking for Africa. Mm hmm. This is for Asia. Mm -hmm. Yes. This one. Very important. This is my witness. Yes. This one. I don't know if you can see. AF 60,000. It was not 61. Sorry for that. AF 60,000. Uh, 755. Consulate. Doha. Issued. Even with a high case number, I'm very happy for this person. Even with a high case number, this person was issued um, visa. How many? Five. 
<laughs> this person had family. So as you can see, it seems this person arranged for his family to have interviews in Doha, Qatar. So be wise. I know, anyway, this person, 61 something, was not lucky, but with this, this one for 60,000, 755 caught fish. While somebody in Nairobi with a 35,000 35, never got uh, to be interviewed, or maybe 40,000 never got the chance to have the fees. While somebody in Qatar, 60,000, very interesting, with five people got uh, the visas. When did this person apply? The last, almost the last day, November 6th. And the visas were issued August 24th. This person is very lucky. Mm, let's see another one. Okay. I'm confused. There is one for 61. Woo. No, 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 no. Let's go here. AF 61830. No, we are going again. Yes. AF 6303. I have case number. Somebody from Africa. Probably from Kenya. Had a high case number of 63,031 in Doha, Qatar. And this person did his or her interviews there. And his visa was issued. I don't know if you are reading something. A high case number of 6103. Doha, Qatar. Visa issued. While in Nairobi, a person of the same case number did not uh, got the chance to be interviewed. Play your cards very well. If you have a high case number and you are able to go to these um, Gulf countries, maybe you will visit, maybe, okay, maybe you are a, a work permit. I say work permit because you may be asked such things, eh? Why are you in this country? Yes. So if you are in Qatar and you have, you have a high case number, please do your interviews there. Don't come to Kenya or Africa. No. Do your interviews there and you will get visas. Next, we shall see TZ. So the highest for, for this was 63,000. This person got the visa. Not Africa, but the Qatar. Let's see. Dar es Salaam, the highest case number for Dar. Oh, nothing for Dar. D, what is D? What's the abbreviation for Dar es Salaam? Mm. Let me see. Just a minute. DRS. Sorry for that. Let me go back. DRS. Dar es Salaam is DRS. DRS. Not many people are applying diversity visa in Tanzania. That's a fact. And if you have a high case number and you are in Kenya, this is a golden opportunity to do your interviews there. Mm, okay, 61972 in DRS was not issued. Let's see the next one. Mm, I want to see the highest. Mm, okay, I don't know if you are getting this. Nairobi could not give visas to people with a case number of 40,000 in DV 2023. But Dar es Salaam, Unona, 47,141, a person with this case number was issued a visa. As you can see, the performance of this embassy 
is good or was good at that time. Obviously, things may change. Uh, 48671, Dar es Salaam. Visa issued. While in Kenya, a person of the same case number could not get the visa. Make your decision very well. So, ukiangalia TZ, what do you visas with the high case number? Yes. And I've seen some Kenyans going there. Kuna mjama alikuwa na 50 something thousand, 54,000 uh, case number. Akaenda TZ, obviously it's East African country, uwezi uliswa visa, na akapata visa. And then, what when you alikuwa na 50 something Kenya, they never got the visas during our time. I'm just showing you things, guys. Mm. Yeah. Not bad, not bad, not bad. F33 issued. There is alarm in DV2023. We are doing fine. Mm -hmm. mm. This is how to analyze which embassy is doing well. And the data for DV2025 will come out January next year, 2026. That way you'll be able to analyze which embassy is doing well. But if you are in Gulf countries, and then, and when I say Gulf, it could be Doha, Qatar, it could be Abu Dhabi, it could be where? Saudi Arabia, it could be those other Gulf countries. Do your interviews there. Even if you have a lower case number, do them there. Yes. Sometimes even these embassies, some of them are not even asking people for a little bit of um, support. I want that default. Some are not asking you that if you are in these other countries. You can do research and you know which embassies I'm talking about. So, so guys, let me now bring the screen i don't know which embassy that's enough for today i know you'll do your own research then mm -hmm. Um, I want to share something. Yes, I'm now back. So make your decisions. The earlier you submit your DS-260, the better. A lower case number has more chance if you submit your DS-260 way early and you get uh, the required documentation or documents. Alternatively, if you have a high case number and you are in Gulf countries, do your interviews there. From the data I've just shared about DB2023, you can clearly see that people with high case numbers, with um, six, I, I saw someone with 62,000, AF 62,000, somebody from Africa got the visa. While Somebody of the same case number or similar case number in Nairobi could not get the visa. So make your decisions. For my case, I advise people, those with high case numbers and they are in Gulf countries, do your interviews there. If you are in Kenya and you, are, you have a high case number, when it's about January next year and you are seeing that Nairobi embassy is not doing well, please transfer your case to Dar es Salaam. And you will thank me later. Thank you so much, guys. Please like my video and subscribe if you have not subscribed. And then if you have any question, you can ask. I'm here to help people. Yes. Thank you so much.